Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this prop right here. This is the Emax Long Range 6x3.8x2. So let's take a look at the design of this prop and then we'll talk about how it flies. Okay, so throughout this video I'm going to be comparing the Emax prop to the Gemfan 6042 Biblade prop because uh, in my review of this prop, I said this is my favorite prop. This is basically, of all the props I've tested, the best one I've tested so far. So I'm going to compare it to this prop to see how this one holds up against what I think, as my opinion, of what is the best. So let's start off with the easy stuff. So weight. The gem fan prop is pretty heavy at 4.8 grams. Uh, that's what I weighed it at. This one is actually even heavier, which I was not expecting because it's very thin towards the edges. It is 4.9 grams. And I attributed the heavy weight of the GemFan prop to its poor control feel. Or not poor. It's um, it's okay control feel. It's not like amazing like the Racecraft prop was. And I also think that's because the weight is distributed kind of across the entire blade. So it has a higher moment of inertia. It's harder to spin up and spin down. Um, and although the Emacs prop is heavier, uh, most of its mass is towards the center of the hub. And this taper towards the tip seems to be a recurring theme with this prop. So if you look at it dead on, it's real spiky uh, right here. And I think that is to clear the motors so they can get a really aggressive scoop. So we have that real aggressive scoop and then it tapers right up to a very narrow tip. If we look at it from the uh, side, it is the same thing, the aggressive scoop tapering to the tip. And you can see that airfoil flattens out. And of course, the way the weight is distributed, it kind of is mostly in the middle and then is less and less material as it tapers out because the wing tips are pretty flexible. And this prop is definitely not as durable as the gem fan, which is a pretty heavy prop, but it's still lighter. Uh, this thing is just indestructible. Um, I never broke any of these props. I just eventually replaced them because they just got kind of beat up and I was, they are just ugly. So, but I never, uh, like bent them or anything. They were that durable. The Emacs props, they're heavier, but they're not as durable. They're more flexible. You can chip them and, uh, bend the wing tips. Not amazing, but good enough for standards of what is considered durable these days. Let's go ahead and discuss how these props perform in the air. All right, so obviously the GemFan 6042 flies really well because it um, was my favorite prop as of the review of the GemFan. But when I switched from the GoPro Hero 5 session to the GoPro Hero 6 as my camera, the added weight of the heavier camera really made my quad feel dull on these props. And I think that has to do with how it's a real meaty blade across the blade and how the scoop is very aggressive. And I think that led to it kind of stalling. Um, and because it's real peaky in the low end, like most six inch props are, it just made it feel like the higher um, throttle needed to keep the quad in the air on like tighter turns and stuff because the added weight it just felt not responsive in those areas of the throttle so that led me to try this prop which i actually had laying around for a while but i never tried it just because the gem fan was so good and i was very surprised at how this prop felt because it like solved all the control feel problems for me and even that kind of feel that there was a lack of grip going on. It's kind of wispy, which I like. It revs higher for sure, even at idle, you can hear it spinning faster. And it's not because it's lighter, but I think it's because of how it all tapers. So all the weights in the middle and how the blade tapers. So the motors can spin it much easier and can spool it up into the high revs much easier. The control feel just was completely restored on my quad. It just felt better immediately and I did dial down my pitch just a hair um, because this prop was much more responsive. Mainly because of that this prop is my new go-to six inch prop. Um, 
because even on this really heavy build, it can handle it, and it actually, I don't know if it grips better, but the feel through the corners is um, better with the throttle. I think ultimately the gem fan has better power, it has um, better grip by just a little bit. It also pulls more amps to full throttle. This pulls 110, this pulls about 100. So the gem fan has better ultimate performance, but the Emax prop has better feel because I think the throttle curve in terms of power is more linear, so you don't get that giant boost of power at the low end. It's not as extreme as on other 6-inch props. It's a little more linear, so you have finer control there, and it doesn't feel like the prop dies after like half throttle. I really like how it feels, and it's just really wispy, and it just it makes it feel like the quad isn't trying very hard to stay in the air and do quick maneuvers and whatnot. And it's not slow either, which is surprising again, because usually a prop with this good of control feel is going to be low pitch, and when you're trying to cruise, it's just not really going to pick up speed. But this prop picks up speed really good, and it cruises just the same as the meaty gem fan prop, and it does it efficient efficiently as well. Even with this weird shape and everything, this prop is about the same efficiency as the gem fan. It's now a heavy build because of the camera on my tube quad with the GoPro 6. Freestyle, I get about three and a half to four minutes on this prop. And if I'm doing just long range kind of flying, just cruising, it pulls around 11 to 14 amps on my OSD, and I'll get about five and a half minutes or more, up to maybe six, six and a half minutes, depending on how fast I'm going. So very impressive, the efficiency of this prop as well. So it's a really good all around prop. It's, it's reasonably durable, it has very good control feel, it has good speed, it has decent grip, so it is my new favorite go-to 6-inch prop. I would say maybe if you have a lighter build or if you're looking for greater durability. So basically, if you race um, and you want that better ultimate performance, I would go with the Gem Fan prop still because it still has the best performance at the limit compared to this prop which has better control feel but it's not going to deliver quite as much in terms of power and grip. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about these props. Um, so, yeah, Gem Fan prop is pretty good, but I think the Emax prop is better all around, especially for freestyle. And for long range, it's good at that as well. So, let me know down in the comments section below what you guys think about these props. And also let me know if there are any other props out there that I have overlooked that you think could give this prop a run for its money. And with that said, please like this video if you liked it. Get subscribed to see more content like this in the future. And thanks for watching.